Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Storty. I'm a sports medicine fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon at the Agility Center in Bentonville, Arkansas. Here we're going to demonstrate the repair of a bucket handle tear of the lateral meniscus in a 16-year-old patient with a Novastitch Plus device. So we've defined our meniscus tear. It's rather large. We're going to go ahead and poke some holes in it with a spinal needle or trephinate it to help get some good blood supply back into the meniscus. Sometimes I'll go ahead and rasp it. Here we have our Novastitch Plus into the joint. I'm pushing a needle on the center pass first. There's a, different ways to pass the sutures depending upon the tear pattern. You may want to pass peripheral or at the rim first. Otherwise, sometimes it's easier to pass central. So here you can see to the right, I've already passed a couple of stitches. So I'm going to pass another one peripheral after I've passed central. And what you can see is I'm lifting up to make sure I don't get into the popliteal tendon that's just behind us below the bottom jaw of the device. Again, in this device, the sutures are preloaded onto two needles, so I can pass both of them. They'll get caught in the upper jaw, and I'm able to pull the sutures out of the joint and put a loop underneath. I've passed another suture here, and this is right at a spot called the popteal hiatus. So there's a little spot where the tendon runs directly behind the meniscus, and it's not attached. I want to make sure that I didn't sew into the popliteal tendon itself, and we're successful in checking by pulling out that we did not. So we've passed multiple sutures to repair this rather large meniscus tear. We're going to go ahead and pass again. So we extend the lower jaw, again elevating it so that we can get out of the popliteal tendon but staying in the capsule. So I pass peripheral first, and then I'll pass a more central stitch. I pass and tie each suture as I go. On this repair, sometimes I'll pass and use the initial suture as a traction suture, but in this case, the tear was just lined up very nice and didn't require any extra manipulation of the meniscus to get it to line up. So you can see I've passed our central stitch. Here we're going to go ahead and pull the loop in. I tie all of these with a modified Weston knot that's a sliding locking knot and I'll back it up with a couple of alternating half hitches to make sure that it's nice and secure. And again I'm just making sure that I did not capture the popteal tendon. This is anterior. I made a separate incision along this anterior part of the tear because it's very difficult to get to this. So I made an incision in the skin, then a separate poke hole in the capsule above the meniscus, and now a separate one below the meniscus so that I can slide both jaws of the Novo stitch into the joint. So you can just see the knife lifting up the meniscus here and incising just below the meniscus at the capsule. So I'll bring the upper jaw in, and then I'll introduce the lower jaw beneath and pass a suture around the meniscus so that I can tie this over the capsule. So here we've passed our suture and we can do a nice secure tie of the anterior horn of this meniscus back to our capsule. So now we've got a completed repair, an anatomic repair of a large bucket handle tear of the lateral meniscus with an all-inside technique utilizing a Novo Stitch Plus device.